Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm waiting on a both end video to upload. So it's my internet is still really, really wacky. Uh, they're supposed to be working on the tower over here and fixing some issues. Not to mention all the kids are out of school, such as this. So the internet is slow and long videos is taking like two days to upload. So I've got a both end video uploading. While I was fishing, you're going to see me bow up on one while I'm fishing with cut bait. And I mean, nothing happened. And when I, what I did is when I pulled it, it the fish hook come loose. Uh, he didn't break it. It literally, the knot just didn't hold up. I like to snail my hooks on there. And what happened is I was in a hurry and I didn't tie my snail correctly. And it came loose. And I make a lot of leaders, especially with circle hooks. Uh, and this is my grunnel box right here. Uh, and I keep like right here, there is some circle hooks that I keep in there. These are some laser shark. That is what I was using. I lost one. Uh, but back here, you'll see that I have got some little Ziploc bags that I have got leaders made up. Um, but now here's where my problem was tying them on a leader and, and such as that is is no problem whatsoever i gotta pack my stuff back in there where it'll fit in here that box is pretty full i'm not adding this um the problem comes is when okay i'm fishing and i have broken my line off and i want to tie on the end of the line i don't want to cut a piece off that i can snake back up through there so right quick I'm going to show you how to do both of these so you don't have what happened to me. Uh, what happened was I was in a hurry and, and wasn't paying attention and just run it through there. And I was like, oh, it'll be all right. And it wouldn't. It wouldn't all right because I missed a fish and lost a good hook and all that. So I'm going to bring the camera down here real close and let you see how I do this. Okay, y'all, this be the line that I normally use. That is not what I'm going to use today because it's a brand new roll and I didn't want to cut it open. I have got some suffix right here. It's not the ideal line. So anyway, I go through there. Pull me a loop. And then I go the other way. All right, I'm I'm getting out of focus. Let me let me let me start over because y'all gonna be all kind of confused. I'm trying to look around the phone and do this. All right, right here through. I'm making a loop, and I come in the front. Now I'm going to go the same way. See that? And I'm basically crossing in there. All right? And there's a reason for that. If you do it, if I go back the, the same way that I come in, when you pull tight, it'll pull your stuff back through that eye. All right. So now I'm going to just wrap. And I knew how to do this the other day, y'all. I'll be honest with you. I got in a hurry while I was fishing and didn't pay a close attention. And I said, well, I'll just stick this on there like this right quick. It'll hold for what I'm doing. And, and it didn't hold. You can wrap this as many times as you want to. But that's probably about a plenty. All right, now I'm going through that loop right there. All right, we threw our loop, pinch everything right there where you got it, and then pull this. Okay, I'm going to stop right there so you can see what we got. All right, now get a hold of this good. 
And right there. So what'll happen is with this, with that line crossed, it'll pull tight and won't pull through there. Had I come, had I come in this way, made my loop and come back the same way, it would pull all of that back through there. And I see people do that all the time. Or if you don't go through it at all, this way right here, you're crossed on that. It can't come but to that eye right there and it stops. So this, most of you, most people believe me, but there'll always be some. This is tied, hooked to the roll. So it's just like being on the end of your uh, line. So that this is way number one. All right, so let's pull that off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and uh, I'm gonna cut all that mess back off of my hook because I'm gonna use the same hook for this demonstration. All right. So this right here is what I make my leaders out of. And I'm going to put this on there and leave it for a leader. So what I do, this is some 50 pound. I don't even know what it is anymore. Y'all see that? But I don't use a lot of 50 pound tests. And this is mainly for, I want to add it to braid. So I'm pulling off like, oh, we're going to say about 18 inches or so. Alright. I go through. And y'all, this is as easy right here as it gets. And with 50 pound test, I don't put as many wraps. All right, you see, you got them wraps. Now, I'm trying to keep the camera in focus. Go back through the back of the hook. Okay. That way, the part going up to your line... is coming out the front, okay? Very easy. Only problem, and that you pull tight, y'all, that will hold. That has caught a lot of fish over the years. Here's my problem with it. You see that? If it's in current, it can come loose. As long as it's under some kind of tension, I have no problem with it. And I've got a lot of them done this way, but I just wanted you to be aware it has a negative part to it. And that is why I like doing mine the other way. And I leave that tag a little bit so that it's, if it does come loose, and most likely it's not. So, all right, now on this end, And here's the part I don't like about leaders is now you got to tie a knot up here. And I wrap all the way around. You see what we got there? That is kind of how you make a leader, and that leaves you with about a foot long leader. Uh, I've been fishing with this line right here for a long time, fishing with both ends. Uh, this 50 pound test, guaranteed, not gonna break it, not going to. But this is a lot 
thinner line and it's i like the color green i a lot of people want a high vis where they can watch it I, and I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I probably need to go to a high vis because I am a line watcher. In other words, whenever I get a bite, I'll dip my pole down and I'll watch for that line to start running. And it helps me. The better you can see it in my eyes is not what they used to be. I used to, I could see this good, didn't, didn't matter, didn't have no problem. My eyes are not that good anymore. So, you know, it's it would be a good thing to go on to something... A, a little different probably line uh i had another piece of right here i'm gonna go ahead while i'm sitting here without demonstrating tying this i'm gonna make me another liter or two because i like a liter on that braid that i use I was going to attempt to demonstrate just how easy it was to tie this other one. And I was going to attempt to tie it with this heavy line. But I'm all formal fingered. This stiff lines is not as easy to work with. And I like my knots to look clean. And it is already, y'all, way after dark. It, uh, I've been cutting grass. and I thought, well, I'm going to have a video uploaded. And it's on like, it's been uploading all day and it's on like 22%. So I said, you know what? I'll come out here and make a short video. And maybe I can get it uploaded on my phone not fool with the other so anyway that's about how long it takes to tie that and uh this is one i was done experimenting with and this tray that i have got well There we go. One thing about in here, I can hook it on the side of that table like this. Pull all my knots tight. Cut my tag ends loose. These scissors is a way to go for tag ends. So I'm going to put these in here with some of my other junk. This is a box really right here of just extra stuff, extra corks and some a whole bunch of packets of these leaders with smaller hooks that Larry Alexander sent me. I've got a bunch of stuff over here that Don Lanier sent me. So we've we've been fortunate. People have blessed us with some fish baits. Uh, and I keep everything in boxes. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. I just thought I could help y'all with a couple of little knots here. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.